So we are gonna actually go over both bikes today because I do have some changes that I made to Mad Max. I posted it, some short clips on the social media platforms. So I'll show you guys the changes, tell you guys what I think. Also, I'm gonna be going over what exhaust I'm gonna be using on the Hayabusa Thunderdome, what tune we're gonna be using, and all of the other things that I did to the bike. So we'll go over all that in a second. Just so you guys know, the winner of our giveaway, I actually announced the winner when I was at the Chromeworks rig, uh, when I was in Daytona, and the winner was David Mattias. I did post it all over social media on all the platforms, uh, but I actually do have video. Uh, he actually met me near my house. I actually gave him the exhaust there and the other things are gonna be mailed directly to him, but I didn't have time to edit that. It should be up in the next video. But anyway, I got something else cool for you guys. If you guys are not aware, April 29th, Saturday at 9 a.m., I'm gonna be at Bergen County Harley-Davidson with a bunch of other cool YouTubers. So come by and say hello. We're doing a little meet and greet and hang out and just talk, shoot the shit, so to speak. Um, so again, that's April 29th, Saturday at 9 a.m. They're gonna have a food truck. Obviously the dealership's gonna be open. We could go inside and check out the bikes, see what they have. Uh, you could check out Mad Max. Mad Max will be there. Um, so what I do want to tell you guys, I have another cool little giveaway for you guys with some really, really cool items this time. So let me show you what I have for this giveaway. It is actually going to be starting today and it's going to run up until April 28th, the day before the meet and greet. And we will be picking a winner on April 29th, probably around whatever 10 o'clock when I'm there. So if you guys want to get entered, all you have to do is go to my website, www.cycle-fanatics. If you purchase one sticker, you will get one entry. If you purchase five stickers, you'll get five entries. So the more stickers you basically purchase, the more entries you will have. So this giveaway, we're actually going to be giving away this holster by Tail of Knives. Really, really beautiful holster. It holds a bunch of things, a uh, knife, a uh, utility knife. It holds also like a baton, small, but a bunch of things. It holds really beautiful leather holster. We're also giving away this Holtzman knife right here. And you guys seen, I actually use it on my bike. Uh, the camping trip I had right here, that's a Holtzman. And the knife is amazing. Comes with a fire starter. Um, what else does it come with? Let me see. It comes with a fire starter, the sheath, everything. It's pretty long. I think it's like six inches long. Absolutely beautiful knife. And huge thanks to Saddleman Seats. And guys, you know I love my Saddleman Seats. They are sponsoring one seat of your choice for this giveaway. So that's what's in there. Any one of your choice, but you cannot get... Uh, a heated seat and uh, you'll just contact uh, Buster directly and this is good for one Saddleman seat. So you got the Saddleman seat, Holtzman knife and this uh, holster by Tail of Knives. Three items, I um, think it's like total probably around $1,000. So all you got to do, go to the website, get yourself a sticker and April 29th, I'll be announcing the winner. So let me pull the bikes out and I'll show you guys what I did to Mad Max. We'll go over the Hayabusa. We'll go over the Hayabusa first and then we'll go over Mad Max and show you guys what I've done and tell you guys what the hell I'm doing on this bad boy. both bad boys outside looking really good really good so anyway let me go over what we are doing to the Hayabusa so just for a quick recap 
Um, believe it or not, I actually had, and check this out, I actually had a windscreen from Puig, right? It was the blacked out windscreen. It came up probably about two and a half, three inches taller, right? But then the more I was looking at it, I don't, I don't know. It was just something just wasn't right. It was like a little tall, kind of took away from the really sportiness look of the Busa. So you know what I did? I did this on previous sports bikes way, way back in time and it works out perfect. So the thing is, I couldn't find an exact windshield um, online that I really like. So what I did, this is actually the stock windshield. And if you guys could see, it looks blacked out, right? But the stock windshield wasn't blacked out. It was like kind of tinted. It wasn't like a black tint. It was almost kind of like a brownish tint. I don't know, it was, it was, it was strange, but anybody that has the Hayabusa knows exactly what I'm talking about. So what I did with this windshield is I took it off and on the underside, right? I sanded it down a little bit, cleaned it thoroughly, and I painted it with high gloss black paint. So as you guys can see, it comes out perfect as long as you do the prep work good and I don't actually need to see obviously through this. So as long as you do the prep work good, it comes out really, really perfect. It looks like you couldn't even tell if this came out of a factory or not. So I put the stock windshield back on, blacked it out, looks great. What else do we do? Uh, you know, I already took the reflectors off and stuff like that. What else? Right here, I got my quad lock stem mount phone holder. Okay, so obviously you guys know that I did the harness for the heated gear because we need that and uh i guess the big thing if you guys didn't see yet i got the rear cowl on the bike and it looks so so good so got that it just looks it looks amazing it looks just super sporty with the rear passenger cowl on and then uh, I guess the only other thing that we did was I did the tail tidy and this is kind of um, a home job, but I seen it on somebody else's video online and it comes out perfect. You just take off the entire, that big tail section and you just keep the bracket and then you just bolt the bracket right back up. And I got my tail tidy. It looks super clean, super nice. I'm probably just gonna paint these bolts black, but it just, it looks really clean, really nice. It's tucked up under there. You don't need to spend whatever $200 on a tail tidy. This is where it's going to get interesting. So what I have decided, I'll show you guys the pictures. What I have decided, what we are gonna go with on the Hayabusa is a Brox full titanium exhaust. And I'll show you guys the picture. I believe it's the CT with the, uh, it's, it's a four into one CT 16 inch can, and it just looks amazing. It's titanium. Um, I think there's about a 50 to 55 pound weight reduction after taking off this monstrous exhaust. I mean, it's gigantic, these mufflers. So I can't wait to get that. We're going to be running the Brox four into one um racing exhaust on here titanium okay it's gonna look badass then we're gonna put a sprint air filter in it and then we are going to get the hayabusa tuned by none other than chris from more mafia a lot of you guys uh said uh they might have thought that i was gonna do that or you guys recommended it but i've been watching chris for quite some time and he just seems like uh, definitely the guy to go to. If you're dealing with a sports bike, absolutely, definitely a Hayabusa. He has done so many. You could, guys could check out his channel. But I, this is the thing. He's about 720 miles away from me. Do I tow the bike there? Do I ride it there? Or my third option would be take out the ECU and actually um, just have him... Uh, flash the ECU and then basically just have them send me back the ECU and I could put it in. 
So those are my three options. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Uh, you know, really was thinking about actually uh, bringing the bike down there, maybe riding it uh, and, not, you know, staying there maybe two days and having the work done and then maybe coming uh, back through the tail of the dragon or something. That's another option. So I'll definitely keep you guys posted, but it's definitely going to be tuned by Chris from More Mafia. This thing is going to run and sound amazing. So that is what's been done to the Hayabusa. And it's just, I love it. It's just looking fantastic. The sound is nothing special right now, but it still has that really deep, deep sound because of the big motor. So I just can't wait to get the exhaust on there. So uh, over to Mad Max. So as far as Mad Max, I don't know if you guys seen uh, the short clips that I put on, uh, but huge shout out to Clockworks. Um, I actually wanted to get something shorter because of when it gets hot, maybe on some short rides around town in the summertime. Uh, you know, I was rocking the 11 inch Sport Flare windshield on it. I used to have the nine, but then Clockworks sent me the 11 and that windshield is absolutely amazing. And we just, uh, we took off the Memphis Shades handguards for the summer. But to tell you the truth, guys, I, I love how sporty the bike looks with the six inch, but I'll be perfectly honest with you guys. We just took a ride the other day, me and Sandy. And even though I like the way it looks, I noticed that when I'm doing the moto vlogs now, I get a lot more wind onto my helmet, which is normal. And I don't know if the audio is going to be as clear as it was with the 11 inch because the more air you deflect off of your helmet, the crisper the audio quality is going to be. That's just a given. So I still might, I might put the 11 inch back on. I still might do that and probably going to put the Memphis Shades handguards back on. But yeah, but that's, that's the small changes we did, but the obviously the six inch clockworks windshield looks fantastic because it's like the bike looks just so much sportier i actually like this look better let me know in the comments down below guys what you guys think but like i said being on the highway even though it's going to be getting hot um i still want that crisp audio for you guys and when i edit the next video i'll definitely be able to see if I was getting a lot more wind noise. And if that's the case, then I'm definitely gonna go back up to the 11 inch Sport Flare because that was the audio quality on the Moto Vlogs was just like super, super clean. And that's what I wanna give you guys. I wanna give you guys that great audio as, as I have been these past you know, couple months with the crisp audio on the Moto Vlogs. But, uh, and, and I also like how it looks with the 11 inch as well. Other than that, for now, no other changes to Mad Max. She's running absolutely beautiful. The bike is amazing. I love how everything is set up. But I am just super, super psyched. Super psyched. Can't wait to get the exhaust. Can't wait to get the sprint air filter. And can't wait to get the tune done by Chris from More Mafia. So this thing sounds great because honestly, even when I ride it, I love riding it. But it's just not the same for me. It's not the same, you know, stock exhaust. I just, I love to have a nice sounding exhaust. And the bike's just too damn, too damn quiet to be on the street. So uh, can't wait to get that. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if any of you guys have a Hayabusa. And let me know if any of you guys have had your bike tuned by Chris and what you guys think. But I just can't wait because I know he's going to do a fantastic job. Uh, I've been watching a whole bunch of his Hayabusa videos lately. And uh, no, I'm not putting a turbo on it, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. Peace out. We'll see you guys later. Check out the website, www.cycle-fanatics.com. Get yourself a sticker to enter uh, to win. That's it for today.